612 right now as manufacturing increases in South Carolina. The need for labor is growing at our ports. That's right. Yesterday we showed you a career that you can have loading and unload, or excuse me, loading these vehicles onto cargo ships. But today, News 2's Colby Thielen is going across the yard mm -hmm. with those who bring them in. It's a cool job, Colby Thielen. It is. Good morning. Whether it's by land or by sea, exporting South Carolina commodities involves a lot of different groups and even after they arrive at the Columbus Street Terminal. Before sunrise most days, you'll see lifts up and gates down. The latest BMWs arriving on rail, fresh out of the plant in upstate South Carolina. And unloading them takes a large team. The more, the more rail cars we get in, the more business we get in, the more we're, the more we're gonna need people. So it's definitely a constant. Andre Hayes is the operations manager over the BMW project. He says they unload and park about 800 cars every day. We're looking for people that are, are motivated, um, that they're dedicated to what they do. You know, they take pride in what they do and they look to give the customer the best quality when they come to work. Drivers like Brandon Johnson. Great pay, great people to work with. It's not a very hard job. It's a very easy job to do. Johnson used to work in security until he heard they were looking for drivers. Was this something you ever considered before? Not really, no, no. <laughs> never considered never, it? Never at all, actually. I just saw it, I was like, maybe I could do it. I was like, hey, why not give it a shot and see? All you really need is a high school diploma and a valid driver's license, but a steady hand helps. That's a tight space. It is very tight. Uh, coming off the train is the, it's the hardest part because it's so small in there and you got uh, the wheel chalks on the, on the sides of the wall, so you got to make sure you stay straight. Parking the car, you have to park as close to that line as you can without going over that line. That's about 12 inches between each car. Were you nervous at all when you first started this job oh, driving yeah. such an expensive car? <laughs> I was very nervous. I was like, I don't want to wreck these people's cars. <laughs> the port also says they're willing to work with those who want to pursue a degree later on, and who want to move up. The potential has definitely grown since I've been here, and it is definitely easy. And as long as they stay focused and they want to move up the ladder, you can definitely be good to go. Now, unlike the longshoremen who load the ships, getting cars off the rail is a non-union job filled by state port workers. Coordination is also a large part of this job because each car has a designated space that helps them with efficiency when they later load the ships. And when it comes to a hurricane, it could mean moving thousands of cars in a matter of days. In studio, Kobe Thielen, count on two.